Welcome back guys. I'm working on the van. We've got a little bit of progress here. But today we start electrical. Power the whole van. No? Electrical day. Insert Marv here. And all this stuff. Has to go in that box. Here we go. All right, we went with uh, Light Harvest Solar. They are the full package. They sent us everything that we need. So they sent us the 3,000 watt power inverter. We have the MPPT. Uh, solar controller, the DC to DC charger, we have the smart doggle, Bluetooth option. Um, we have our circuit breakers, circuit breakers. This is going to distribute your power. A couple more breakers there. Um, shrink wrap, lugs, all the lugs that we need, all the wire that we need as far as inside the electrical box, and then. This is a hammer crimper, but this is not something that I would have had. I would have gone and bought this somewhere. So, um, got a couple more solar things right over here, um, all the way to the connections for the roof. If you want to do a big hole through the roof, and then um, your shore power. So, here you can see the diagram, and it's pretty intimidating. I'm not a professional electrician and uh, at the end of the day I spent a lot of time just standing there looking at it. But once I got everything laid out on the table there and really got an understanding of how everything was supposed to go together, uh, it, it ended up being pretty easy. They do a really good job of putting the whole thing together. We are ready. I'm going to start putting my first lugs. Start attaching stuff. Point of no return. Here we go. Tug, 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 nothing's coming out. That's a bonus. <sighs> All right, I think I am ready to start doing uh, the negative side. But I'm gonna have to take it off the stand in here and take it out to the van where it's effing cold today in order to go farther, so. See you in a bit.
All right, check this out. This is all that positive side stuff that we've already wired up. So, um, next move, wire the uh, ground side or the negative side. Get our batteries, the wires ran to the batteries. I don't know if I'm gonna connect them yet. Um, fix this hole. This was where the panel was gonna go. And we decided that we were actually gonna put the panel up there instead in a cabinet. And so now we have our hose or our ducting that runs down through, ends up back here and into this little hole here. So that guy will pop out and what few little runs I need to come from down here to go up there instead of having all those wires hanging out in here. Here we go. One thing to consider when you are wiring your batteries, the wires from your batteries to your distributors or your bus bank need to be the same length uh, so that we, your charge and your discharge are equal across your batteries. decided we're going to use Romex. It's a whole lot cheaper than buying the individual strands and it's coated so it's got some protection. This wasn't apparent before. We're definitely not professionals. <laughs> Come on, feed me. Feed me!